Cruise stereo, push the cruise control, disappear into the groove. Take the photograph, try to make it last, then the awkward laugh doesn't make it true. Everyone's got their own set of troubles. Everyone's got their own set of blues. Everyone's got their own set of struggles. Walk a mile in another man's shoes. Well, I went to Haiti um, over the summer with Young Life, and it was by far like the coolest experience of my life because I got to like experience it with like a bunch of great people. But I also got to like just learn about how like what true like happiness in all of it so much fun being like connected to God in such a happy environment with all the people who are also doing the same thing it's probably fall weekend last year when I got to make a lot of new friends but at the same time I was able to speak about my faith and not feel judged about it this past summer when I went to Haiti with the Young Life group that was probably the best memory I have with Young Life because it was really inspiring to see how all the different Haitians how they interacted with one another and had a really good sense of faith in God and had a really good sense of community with each other. It's like going to campaigners like week after week and just like knowing I can like go there and have fun and like laugh and talk with like other Christians and like have like really good like fellowship. Well, I'd say Rediscover America Day because it's so fun and awesome. My favorite memories were probably Saranac camp and I really liked it because we had a lot of fun, we did a lot of fun things. I went to Haiti with Young Life the past two years that we've gone and everything that we did there was so important to me and I don't I think it really helped me to grow in my faith and as a person. But the real like memories I have of that is just having a good time with my friends and just being all together and doing something fun. Going to Haiti with them this summer. So it was just an awesome time with the great leaders that we went with and the great kids we went with and also the people we met there like um, the leader of the house we were at and that was probably the best time I've ever had ever. Uh, my favorite memories at Young Life are the ability to just talk with people about God and not be scared and just be like open and be yourself. <laughs> my favorite memory was one of the first clubs that we did and one of the skits was they put live goldfish on the ground and then they blindfolded like five people and then the people thought they were walking on goldfish but they were walking on oranges. Um, probably Rediscover America Day which was pretty recent. Um, that was fun just seeing all the photos and good laugh. At them. Is going to Haiti with all of my friends and um, it just made a huge impact on my life and uh, it was such a great time and I feel like we did a lot of work and um, help the people there. Probably when I went to camp and I got to meet like a lot of new people and it was just a really fun time. I think the biggest difference between Young Life and my high school is that everybody that's there shares one common interest and that's Jesus and I think that one major factor just really brings us all a lot closer together. I'm safe to, to express myself or be myself. I'm not afraid to try to fit in with people because people don't judge you there. And just, it's such a happy place and high school can be pretty hostile sometimes. But here it's like, sort of like a sanctuary. Like you have people around you that feel the same way and everyone's just there to be supportive and nice and you can just say whatever you need to say and you get to hear other people's lives and what's going on in just a like safe environment and that's just a lot different than any high school could ever offer. Here, there's people who care and stuff. In high school, I kind of like have to not like change, but kind of like fit in a mold. And in young life, I'm just kind of like open and you know, like be myself. In here, I can just kind of be like laid back and it's really fun. It's more community, it's more tight knit than Hopkins. I feel like Hopkins. It's a wonderful school, but it does have its certain groups to it, but I feel like Young Life is just one group. Um, at Wildlife, it's different from school because the older kids, the high schoolers, they like really are like, they want to be like your friend and stuff, and they're not all like, I don't know. Judgmental. Like, I don't know you. <laughs> they're all 
everyone has a really strong bond with each other over their faith because that's something that a lot of people have in common here. Uh, Hopkins, it's kind of rare to find someone who has a really good relationship with God. So it's just, it's a lot different. There's always something that makes you feel better, whether it's the games or the talk. And Your young life, no matter who you are, you always have everyone as a friend. So. In high school, a lot of times I have to cover up who I really am, and I have to feel like I might be judged about things I do, but in Young Life I can pretty much just be who I want and talk about things I want and feel like I'm in a safe environment. Young Life, there's like not really any boundaries. We can just like talk about whatever we want, but it's also focused towards God in a way that like we don't have boundaries. In Young Life, everyone just respects you for who you are. School is somewhere where people shape themselves to be what people want them to be, but at Young Life, you can just be who you want to be and who God wants you to be, and you just don't have to change for anyone else, you can just be yourself. And Young Life is people who can, like, be themselves, not get criticized, and Young Life is super accepting, and, like, they are welcome of, and, like, new ideas, and they're totally tolerant of what everybody believes, and, like, I think that's so cool because not everybody in high school is like that. The leaders at Young Life are very accepting and kind. I say that they're very encouraging and they're just um, very real and relatable and um, you know you're always guaranteed to laugh when you come to Young Life and they have some funny stories and um, I'd say I'm the closest with Stu. Like, always very kind and supportive and caring. Um, I like most of the leaders just because in club and at Saranac they're all like really open to talking about whatever we want and they're funny and they're just good to be around and they create a good atmosphere. They've all it, like impacted, it made a huge impact on my life and my relationship with Christ and God and I can't thank them enough for that. And I, 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 I think the leaders are awesome. They just have so much to say and you can go to them whenever you need to talk. And the leaders here they're like cool and they like to have fun but they're Christians at the same time so they're huge inspirations because especially for teenagers they're going and developing and finding out who they are and having these leaders to show us that we can still have a good relationship with Christ while we can still have fun and live our lives it's really inspiring but just they're all really like supportive awesome adults to have because like I know I can talk to them about anything. So I love all of the leaders so much because I mean like they're all so incredible and they're so funny and they're like easy to talk I to. I have a special relationship with Laura Lee like in particular because I don't know she's always seems to take an interest in like our personal lives and she always is there to talk to. And they're all willing to go out and reach out to us high schoolers and try to bring us in and uh, the leaders in Young Life, uh, I think, are really helpful because they help me to, like, they don't, there's not, like, not a huge uh, age difference, so it's easy to get along with them and easy to, like, um, communicate and stuff with them. But, um, the leaders at Young Life are just, like, they're all fun-loving people, but, like, I've also experienced them as the hardest workers I've ever seen. They're always ready to dive into a new project or... Um, help a kid out with something and they're also great to talk to. Uh, the leaders are really understanding and you can talk to them about anything and they won't judge you. Um, I love the leaders at Young Life, especially Laura Lee. She is, I don't know, a really great like mentor of mine. I feel like the leaders are really awesome people in Young Life. I go out to breakfast every Wednesday with one of them and uh, we have a great time. We talk about God but at the same time we build a relationship together. Oh man, it's changed me so much. Young Life has changed my faith so that I can be strong in my faith and not be scared and it has really changed it so that I know I can walk with Jesus. I guess it makes me feel better and more closer to God, like helping people grow their grow their relationship with Him. So going into Young Life, I've had like a relationship with Jesus so far. But it's definitely strengthened my faith because I've got to like talk to a bunch of other Christians and like kind of share in our experiences. Young Life has helped me with my faith because it's brought me together with so many people of the same faith and have the same values and I've made some of the greatest friends here that I know I'll have forever. It's changed me by like bringing me like to a place where 
I'm not only worrying about my faith, but it's also brought me to worry about my friends and their faith, and just really helped me to be able to encourage my friends to come to Young Life and just encourage conversations with my friends. At Taranak, uh, kind of sounds weird, but changed my life, kind of. It was probably like one of the best times of my life. Really, you know, changed me because God, you know, was put, put us down here for a reason and I think we're just figuring it out and, you know, the world isn't all about, you know, girls or, or money or It's whatever. really just turned me into the person who I am today because there's really no other places that talk about what they talk about here. When I first started going to Young Life, it really opened up my eyes to what I should be like as a person. Before I started going, I was making all the wrong choices, trying to fit in, and I was doing dumb things. But now, after I start going, I feel like I can be a good person and connect with God, and at the same time, I don't have to try and fit in with everyone else. I think before I came to Young Life, my faith wasn't as strong as it is now. Young Life has helped me because it connects me to other Christians, and um, it's really important to have fellowship in your life, especially in high school, because there's a lot of um, tough life choices and decisions. Um, I guess it's made me think more about how my actions affect the world and affect other people. I was more closed-minded before and now I just, I never really thought about how other people, like, see their faith and what they do with that in the world and it's just made me more aware and I think I've become more accepting and like a better person. I think it's changed me. Um, made me more open-minded. Since doing Young Life, we do have a like stronger relationship with Jesus. So um, I think that Young Life really has helped me with my faith because it's given me a place where I can talk to people about my faith in particular and really get a lot of answers to questions that I've to, that I've had. Um, Young Life has influenced my relationship with Christ. Um, um, it's encouraged me to share with others my faith and just to see that other kids are doing that has helped me to step across that now I, I, I know why I was created on this earth to have a relationship and to, to have that connection with Christ and God I wouldn't have found that way in life I can really thank Young Life for that